So we're going to say, what's the pharmacology and chemistry of the classic psychedelics and hallucinogens, and try to figure out some of the definitions of some terms along the way. So you could say the real narrow definition of a classical psychedelic is something that makes you have a, if you will, a psychotomimetic, a psychotic-like visual hallucinations and delusions and so forth. And they tend to be drugs with a 5-HT2A serotonin 2A receptor agonism stimulation. Now, one thing is always interesting to me, you hear almost nothing about mescaline, but mescaline is actually works in the same way as psilocybin, LSD, and DMT, dimethyltryptamine. And uh, dimethyltryptamine, of course, is one of the ingredients in what? Ayahuasca. Um, and there's dissociative, which is a type of psychedelic, if you will, but that sort of makes you feel like you're here and you're not here and you're kind of derealization, depersonalization type of feeling. And that's what the ketamine-like drugs do. And they don't work on serotonin directly. They work on the N-methyldiaspartate, NMDA, receptor by blocking it. So down below it says uh, ketamine, methoxetine, uh, uh, PCP, and of course one of the drugs, dexamethorphan, is old cough medicine. It's actually on the market, isn't it, as a, as a new antidepressant and nitrous oxide. Um, that's called brain gas. I've talked to several of you out there, and you must know I already have brain gas. Of and then the empathogens and tactogens, these are the mixed serotonin and dopamine reuptake blockers. They're modified amphetamines, particularly MDMA. And some people say this makes you feel uh, unity with the universe or really fuzzy, good, warm feelings. Uh, but in all cases, something's changing to your mental status. But you know what? I'm of the school that I don't care about those things, and in fact, I see them as side effects that should be factored out rather than the reason why they work. And that why they work is going to be what we're going to talk about briefly the rest of the time, which has to do with neuroplasticity. They all cause rapid onset neuroplasticity.